Hello everyone, this is TG with the breaking news. I bring you news from St. Louis today. A man named Prashan McLean is charged with three counts of murder. He is caught and he he is arrested. Uh, he went on a robbery spree, which it results in the death of three people. Uh, he killed a young lady. She was getting off work and he shot and killed her on her porch. Then he uh, killed the lady and her nine-year-old daughter in the same apartment building that he lives in. The lady mother was, look, you know, having heard from her daughter, so she went to the house and found the daughter and the granddaughter tied up to the bed with gunshot wounds, deceased. She screamed, knocking on the door, and she knocked on the killer door, Mr. McClain. She yelling, screaming, call 911. He did, in fact, call 911. And when the police, you know, questioned him, he said he didn't hear any gunshots, none of that. Well, the whole time, the, the mother did not even know that he was the killer. And she noticed that her daughter TVs, three TVs was in front of her, in, his, in front of his door, and she didn't even really realize that he actually killed and robbed her daughter. You know, uh, it's just sad. The kid is 18 years old. And I'm glad they got him off the street because no telling, he would have probably have done more women. So I'm going to play the news clipping and let y'all hear, you know, some of what the neighbors were saying. First tonight at 6, new disturbing details in the violent deaths of a St. Louis mother and her young daughter. Right now, police are begging for your help in finding the person who ended their lives. We start at 6 o'clock with that crime alert in the city. News 4 confirms not only were the two shot, they were also tied up. What's worse, the grandmother made this gruesome discovery. The crime scene is in a home on Pleasant Street that's on the north side near Grandin Florissant, not far from Fairground Park. News 4's Jenna Ray is in that neighborhood tonight following these new developments. Jenna, you have new information for us now. Sam and Corey, in just the last several minutes, family members have identified that 27 year old woman and her child who were found inside this home on Pleasant Street behind me. The 27 year old's name was Terry Bankhead, and she's described as someone who is charismatic, the comedian of the family, and always willing to go above and beyond for everyone else. Family members tonight tell me they're just completely shocked and truly cannot believe what has happened today. They also tell me they believe that this was a targeted incident. Now, this video on your screen right now is of that home on Pleasant Street in North City. Right now, we know that the mother of Terry Bankhead had been trying to get a hold of her daughter, and after several unanswered texts and calls, her mother showed up to her home, and family tells me the 27-year-old mother and her child, who was only eight years old, were found tied up to the mother's bed with multiple gunshot wounds. One cousin says she truly cannot believe this has happened to her family. I'm in shock. I can't because... Anybody who knows Suge, her real name is Terry. She is a really good person. She's funny. Her daughter is funny. So I couldn't think of nobody that would want to hurt her. This is obviously domestic, like a lot of the women that's being killed. And I just can't let this get swept under the rug. Now, as you can see, there are still a few police still on the scene here at Pleasant Street, and we've been watching police for the last three hours investigate and search this street as they try and figure out exactly what happened to Terry Bankhead and her daughter this afternoon. Family tells me they're concerned because there are no security cameras, according to them, in the area. News 4 is looking to check on that later this afternoon. But for now, police and family are asking anyone with information to please come forward and again, and family tells us, Sam, that this could have been a targeted event. Just a really, really tragic story there. Jenna, thank you. News 4 is